what is going on everybody today is the day of the last block first day of the last block um okay so i got the block obviously so we can do a little little overview of some small changes not really much um and then just how everything's gonna work leading up to the meet basically um today the only change on my first day of the week, which is my squat day, is we changed out uh, glute ham raises, which were originally hip thrusts, and we made them Bulgarian split squats. Yeah. So today's going to be torture. Um, so basically, I have squats like always. I have a single, then I have a set of three, and then I have three back downs of three, I believe, like always, or it's a set of five, I don't remember. Um, and so that would be five sets of squats, and then I have leg press, and then I have Bulgarian split squats, and then I have my calf raises and my abs. So today's going to be interesting. That's a lot of squatting, which is fine. It's week one, so it's going to be uh, lighter, of course, than the weeks before, but it's honestly still decently heavy, I'm pretty sure, because it's a, still a primary squat at the end of the day. Um, the only other change I think is, I don't know if there's any other change to be honest, like at all. Like, I'm pretty sure everything's the exact same, it's just weights are different. I'm almost positive everything is the exact same except for weights are different. The only thing I will say is the way my taper is working is a little different than I thought it was going to. The way we're doing my taper is just the week three of this block for me, which is the same as always, is my taper. So, like, on Friday of the week of my taper, I hit an RP8 squat. Um, and then I hit an RP, like, 9 bench on Saturday with an RP, like, 8 headlift. Um, and then I have Sunday off, like always. And then Monday on normal... Tuesday, instead of doing SBD, I'm just doing bench and deadlift. Wednesday, I'm going to the gym by my, like, just to do my, my five sets of squat and then leaving. And then Thursday, I just do close grip bench and back accessories. And then I have Friday and Saturday off, or I have Friday off, and then I'm lifting Saturday for my meet. So, like, I thought my taper was going to have me, like, off for a while, but, like, it's not. <laughs> I kind of just have my normal days off but instead of Wednesday off I'm having Friday off and then I'm having my meat so like I would be worried about like accumulated fatigue over um the week but I guess the point is it's an RP8 squat uh, like I thought I was gonna have to be doing like RP9 nine and a half and then like go back down to like do my openers or something um but no not really we're kind of just doing normal and then instead of the last week instead of me squatting on tuesday with spd i'm just doing on wednesday that's literally it that's the only change which is kind of interesting to me because i figured the taper would be like a whole big thing but it's really not so i guess we'll see how that works out um yeah I mean, I don't know. I guess my, I'm letting my coach do whatever he wants. Like, it's obviously his thing, so I'm just going to listen. It's, like, totally opposite from what I did last time, which is kind of funny because for my mock meet, when I did taper for it, I was running Calgary Barbells taper, which is pretty much you lift four days, you do your openers, you do, like, your squat, bench, deadlift in the same day, all openers, and then you just do, like, really light lifts for, like, the other three days and then you take off two days um or actually i guess to be fair in calgary you were supposed to take off one day and i took off two days because i was like maybe it's stupid to take off one day but i guess it's not because i'm only taking off one day and i say only taking off one day but if we're being realistic um after sa like saturday i have my heavy stuff and then sunday i have off fully and then Monday, I have um, a close grip bench, so, like, that's pretty light. And it's, like, oh, these are, like, at six. 
So, like, that's going to be light. Shouldn't really fatigue me at all. And then Tuesday, I have my... I don't even have my tempo squat or anything. I literally have three sets of Larson, super light. And then I have sumo deadlift, super light. And then... Um, and then Wednesday, I go into the gym, do my five sets of squats, my tempo squat, which is pretty light. It's the, it's lighter than my bench, I believe, um, on my, my top set of bench, it's lighter than my bench and then the pause squats. And then I leave and do no accessories or anything. And then Thursday, I just have like tempo bench and, um, pause, two count pause. So, like, I guess I will be recovered because realistically, after Saturday, I'm not really lifting anything heavy. It's kind of just some form work that's going to be really light. So, and then I get Friday off fully, and then I lift Saturday. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be a little weird, I think. But I'll obviously ask my coach about why he did it the way he did it and stuff, and I'm sure he'll have an answer, so... Either way, I'm going to try to focus on one thing today, and that would be closing my thumb when I squat because he thinks it will be tighter on my back that way. Uh, we'll see how it fucks on my wrist, if I can even do it, and if I have to widen my grip or not. I hope not. I kind of like where my grip is. So hopefully I can just get my thumb to wrap around. We will see. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of tired. It's week one. It's day one. The only reason I'm filming today is because it's day one. So I filmed... Uh, six workouts in a row after today but it's all right i'll see you guys in the gym okay if i'm being honest it feels like shit but i think i'm just super fatigued still from last week um which makes sense gonna be hard on about everything and it's week one um so this is my last warm up um right now everything kind of feels like shit i am closing my hand around the out there on the bar, um, without anything in my grip, so, happy about that, I would just like, what just stop feeling like shit, um, but, it's alright, it's alright, this is the last one, up, so, let's go, We're gonna end top set with 135. This is top single. So let's move at a six. It should. That last one actually moved pretty good. It felt like shit, but it moved good. So that's all that really matters, I guess. Alright. There's top single. Yeah, bar feels heavy, grip feels weird, walkout feels weird, squat feels good. Probably moved that about a six. I'll take it. 
Oh, yeah. One by five. Okay, we're going to retake what I did in um, last block for five. Um, it should be really, really light. It's supposed to be. It's a one by five. And then I have three by five back down. Um, so we're good. Rep was good, though. Rep moved really fast. Even though it didn't feel like that, it did move like that. So um, either way, that's the point. He said it's normal. Fatigue's going to build up. Week one's going to be hard. That's why it's week one. And that makes sense. So everything's going to plan right now. Let's just make these fly like they're supposed to. That felt really good. Three, three by five was minus ten percent of what that set was. So it's literally a hundred kilos. This is super, super, super light. Two hundred twenty-five pounds. Pretty two twenty actually, not even twenty-five. Oh, I just put. We're good. Two hundred twenty pounds. Um, is gonna fly. Should fly. Super light. So do we just get some work in? And we got a intense leg day to do, so let's get it. Yeah, I'm like a ridiculous fatigue because that felt like pretty heavy. I know it's going to, but like still crazy to me. That 220 pounds feels so heavy when I literally hit like 360 or whatever like a few days ago. But that's how fatigue works. So, all right, come on. One more. Last well, set. Hopefully this can make sure I'm hitting depth. I think I am. That other angle was good. All the other angles were really bad, but we'll see. Usually, yeah. 
We're done with squats. Leg press. Plates number 25 on here. No less. Last week I did five plates on each, so lighten it a little bit. Have three hours in reserve, hopefully. We'll see how it feels. I probably could still go heavier, but I'm tired, so I don't want to push it. Two more, two more. I'm not excited to do Bulgarians, I'm not going to lie to you. I hate Bulgarians. Definitely a little light, but it's fine. One more. Okay. Last set of this. Let's do it. Okay, I'm eating my little crispies, drinking my EAA, and then we have Bulgarians. I'm making these Dom White because I haven't done them in forever, and I want my phone to be super strictly biased and like leaks. So, um, I want to go super slow at eight in each leg. Not saying it's going to be heavy. I might up it. I haven't done them in a really long time. It's definitely light, but the form is super strict, so I might keep it here. We'll see.
<laughs> Still burning. I want to be that controlled. Um, I'll up it by five on each hand. Thirty fives now. This is probably going to be right where I want it to be. I want it to stay that super controlled. Still felt the burn, even with 30s. So, this is still light for me, but like, I okay. haven't been moving in a really long time. I want it to be strict, so I don't mind it being light. Do them this controlled. Doesn't matter how late it is. Fucking hard. God, I hate them. It's a good weight. Bulgarian should be like illegal. They're so hard. Like, they're so, 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 so hard. Doesn't make any sense. When you do them good for you, fucking impossible, man. I hate them. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Mr. Bull. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Calf raises and crunches. I'm gonna do standing crunches today, see if that's better. Because abs and abs are gonna help opposing. Alright. Okay, I don't know how to post like strikes, but calves and abs. Alright. Calves, calves, calves. I need this to be on the highest setting. Oh my quads. Oh my god, my quads. Ow. Oh. My quads are like killing me. What are they falling over? Oh. Okay.
Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh my god. Wait, I'm dead. The lactic acid buildup when doing cows is like torture. Like literal torture. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's fucking miserable. But I got one more set. I only do two sets to failure because I've been getting sore with that. And I'm usually gassed after everything I already did today, so... Okay. Try these standing crunches instead of kneeling. Alright, this might look weird, but kind of felt good, so we'll see. See how many I can get. Alright, feels a little bit better than kneeling ones. I don't know how good it is, but I up to like 200 to see how many I can get. gassed right now um so it wasn't like a bad workout or anything it's just i i guess everything that he said about week one is just like a hundred percent true like I, i'm i'm fucking gassed 
like he said to me one day, which I didn't like, not that I didn't believe him, but I was like, I've never experienced it. He was like, you are not going to be as strong as you are in week one that you are going to be in week four or week three or whatever. He's like, it's just not going to happen. You're week one. You're going to probably feel like shit. And I'm like, nah, that's never happened to me. I'm like, I always feel the same strength throughout. No, he was definitely right. Today I felt like shit. Um, my top set single felt like it was 500 pounds on my back. And the walkout was really hard and everything was really hard. I mean, it moved. Like, what? Well, don't get me wrong. It fucking flew. And it feel like, and once, I, I mean, no, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't feel good. But, like, it flew. So it's fine. But it felt like shit. And it's just, like, all the accumulated fatigue, which makes sense. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was a little weird. And then the, t- the five, the top set five was pretty good. And then my back downs were kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. The back downs to the top set of five were low-key a lot harder than they should have been, in my opinion. Um, but that's fine. It's whatever. It's normal, I guess. Um, leg press was good. And Bulgarians, honestly, were great. I fucking hate them because they burn. But they definitely work. It was kind of like lunges I didn't like because they actually hurt my back. Like, lunges hurt my lower back. And they, they didn't give me a quad pump or, like, anything that I felt like they were supposed to do, they didn't do. So, Bulgarians actually do that. Although I hate Bulgarians because they, they hurt, they don't actually hurt my lower back. They just, you know, they, they burn my quads, they burn my glutes, I feel a good stretch, and, like, it's hitting the right things while I do them. So, as much as I hate Bulgarians, I know they're good exercise, and they're very beneficial, and I'm, I will keep doing them, I'm going to keep them. Like, as long as he wants me to keep them in, I will. Um, also, I like the way today, I'm going to just keep them like this. I don't care how light they are. If I felt the same burn that I do always when I do them, because I paused on the bottom, at least I tried to, super controlled on the top, tried to keep my heel down, planted the whole time, so I drove through my heel. And, I mean, I, I kept the weight pretty light. I went to, what, 35 in each hand for eight, and it was, like, three reps in reserve, maybe a little bit more, but, like, you don't have to go heavy. I used to, like, always try to go super heavy just because why not? It's so much better to keep it strict, keep it slower, pause on the bottom, and just keep it light. Also, my grip doesn't go out because of that, because it's decently light, and I have straps on. Like, they were good. Uh, calves are always goaded. I hate doing them, but I, I, I asked to do them because I, like, have good calves, and I don't want to – I was, like, they were starting to shrink, and I was like, this is stupid. Uh, why would I let my calves shrink for no reason? So I, I do, like, that. That's it every week. I, I like, I'm like i supposed to do it twice a week, but I every single time on Tuesday, I have SPD, and I'm supposed to do them, and I just don't because I'm so tired at the end. So I pretty much do that once a week, and that's it. And I've still low-key been growing my calves and or maintaining now. I'm definitely not losing anymore. So that's good. Uh, cable crunches, I don't really know. Well, there's no ab machines in that gym, which is kind of the only thing I don't like about the gym. Um, so it's really hard to do abs. Uh, I did cable crunches standing today instead of kneeling and I think instead of like on my knees and I think it's better. It felt a little better. It's just my grip gives out because it's so heavy on my grip and you have to like hold it really weird. Um, but it's okay. They felt good. They felt better than the kneeling ones for sure. And the ab wheel, although I hate it, I know it worked. I just hate it. And that's after SPD. So I'm always gassed, but it's okay. I know they work, I just don't like them, but sometimes you gotta do stuff you don't like, like Bulgarians, because you know they work, and uh, it's not always a bad thing, you know, getting out of your comfort zone is not the worst thing in the world, so, solid day, hard day, tomorrow I have bench and deads, I imagine everything's gonna feel really heavy tomorrow as well, because I haven't dropped fatigue for bench or deads, plus I just had really heavy bench, like, yesterday, I did 230 for my tempo, which my coach thinks is way too heavy. Not because of the temp, honestly. So this is why I like my coach so much now, so much more. Like, I think I get along with him better than my other coach because he thinks I, like, not overshot, but he's like, you don't need to go this heavy. And I'm like, why? Like, I hit the RP fine and the tempo is fine. He's like, yeah, you're right. But if you lower the weight by 15 pounds, instead of a choppy three tempo, you can get a consistent three second tempo, a better pause on your test. And then it will still be an eight because you're doing it properly. I'm like, see, that makes sense. Before it just be, nah, you're going too heavy, lower the weight. Now it's, okay, lower the weight. This is why once you lower the weight, this should be your goal. Same thing with my tempo squat and my pause squats. 
he's like, all right, next block, I don't care what the RP is, like, you're hitting it, the good RP, I want your tempo to be better, I want your pauses to be better, and you're going to end up hitting it the same RP with a lighter weight because you're doing it properly, and you're getting what we want out of the movement. So the way he is, and he explains that stuff to me, it makes more sense. So, like, I will happily go lighter because I know what my goal is now is to, like, consistent tempo. Like, it shouldn't be a choppy, like, one, one, one. It should be, like, three. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But, like, when I do them next time, you'll you'll understand. It will make more sense when I'm actually doing them. And it's really hard. Like, keeping a consistent tempo with any type of heavy weight is really hard. And I did it with 230 pretty good, in my opinion. And he's like, yeah, I'd rather do it with 215 and make it perfect instead of doing 230 and good. And I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Plus, the primary sessions, he doesn't care. Like, he wants me to go heavy, but he also doesn't want my forehand to break down, which makes sense. Um... So I was thinking, though, the one thing I do like about this type of a taper or, like, the way we're doing it is in my actual meet, there's a really good chance I hit, like, 10 to 20, like, I'll say for bench, whatever, 7.5 to 20 kg PRs from my training PRs in comp because I'm only hitting RP8 squat and RP8 dead and RP9 bench, which I think is going to be undershot by a little bit, and I'll probably have more in comp, which means... I'm going to hit crazy PRs in comp after already hitting crazy PRs in training. So this could be really cool for a taper. As long as I recover well enough and I'm ready by comp, it's perfect. Now, if I'm not ready, that's another issue. But I'm sure my coach knows what he's doing. I trust him. He's been the best. Honestly, been the best thing that's happened to me uh, on my whole powerlifting career so far. So appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see everybody in the next video. I don't know when it's going to be. It might be week two because I don't really want to film again. Um, if anything, maybe I'll film. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. It depends how busy I am, to be honest. And it depends when I want to pick up the camera. But you guys will see me eventually. I have a bunch of videos planned out already. So, like, even though I'm saying this, you guys probably won't, like, get a long break. I kind of post every other day right now. And I still have videos for the next two days and then the next four days. So even if I don't film for another five days, I'll still have a video like the day after or something. So it shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.